Hey, what's up, Fragrant Family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm back at it again with another fragrance review. And this one comes from the house of Parfums Vintage. So, really excited about that. Uh, they're a house that I, you know, have had quite a few bottles of, and so, um, you know, I'm not a stranger to them and I you know I know their quality I know what they can do and I'm really excited to bring this to you so uh, before we go ahead and get into this video please if you guys haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button uh, subscribe to this channel tell your friends about it uh, I am trying to get to a thousand uh, subscribers and you know I know that sounds like a lot but I also know that it's possible um, also if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you didn't go ahead and give it a thumbs down I just want honest feedback and you know trying to critique my videos and uh give constructive criticism so that way i know you know kind of what to keep doing and maybe uh, some areas to improve on so all right guys let's go ahead and get into this uh today i'm bringing you isla tropical Privé from parfums vintage and this is one of the newest releases so pretty excited to have this and um you know i kind of wish that I would have got it, you know, a little bit sooner because this is like a really, really awesome summertime fragrance. But uh, before we get into that, let's go ahead and uh, get into the presentation. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light off so that way I don't uh, get any glare. So here's the bottle presentation, and honestly, I really, really enjoy their bottles. Like, not gonna lie, um, this is their logo right here. I think that's really cool. Um, it's got the P and the B for Parfums Vintage, a little gold plaque on there. And then this cap, you know, nothing special, you know, this little plastic, but what I really like about it is that uh, that wood on there with the gold and, excuse me, everything else on there, it really kind of brings that whole tropical vibe, at least, you know, to me it does, brings the whole tropical vibe right into the bottle itself. And uh, I don't know, I just really enjoy that. Um, you know, and what's kind of crazy is uh, with the bottle shape, and like I said, it could be, it could just be me, it could just be crazy, but I almost get like an old pirate um, bottle, like something that like a pirate might keep his rum in or, you know, some sort of valuables or, or something like that. I don't know, I just kind of get that little old school pirate uh, bottle, which like I said, could just be me. But um, anyways, yeah, so let's go ahead and turn this back on. Um, so... This is coming straight from uh, the Parfums uh, Vintage website. So pretty excited about this because I got a new work phone so I can record and also read the notes off to you. So this is from their website. So I, it says, out of the tropical preview, the top notes are gonna be lime, coconut, bergamot, and mandarin. Middle notes, hibiscus, jasmine, and ylang ylang. Uh, forgive me if I butchered that. And then base notes are gonna be sugarcane, white musk, and rum. So, and then while I'm here, I'll go ahead. And right now this only comes in the 50 ml and it is $95. So pretty expensive for just 50 mls. Um, you know, I did get this off of a trade, so um, didn't really cost me anything. Excited about that. But uh, yeah, so some of the notes in there. Um, yeah, guys, this is a really, really, really good uh, summertime fragrance. This is their rendition of Creed's Virgin Island Water. And I gotta say, man, this stuff is super good. Like, this is really spot on, in my opinion, with Creed Virgin Island Water. Um, I think the main differences um, are gonna be the coconut and lime are a little bit more amped up in this one. Um, you know, with the Creed Virgin Island Water, you definitely get that like kind of pina colada, uh, you, you get the lime and the coconut and all that. And it's definitely there, but in this one, it's way more amped up. And I think that um, it's a little bit more powerful. And honestly, with any Parfums Vintage that I've ever had, their performance and their, their ingredients and stuff are a little bit more just amped up in general. So um, honestly, if you like the uh, Creed Virgin Island Water, but you might not get like the best performance or the best projection. You might try this one out because I honestly think this is like a 90, 95% representation of that fragrance. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and waste a spray for you real quick. I'm gonna show the atomizer, look at this. Man, just so much juice. Like their atomizers are amazing. I don't know what it is, like what they do, but um, they're one of the best in the game. Uh, I don't really know too many fragrance houses that uh, can compete. Maybe, you know, Parfums de Marley and Creed, but 
Um, these guys, for what they do, man, their atomizers are really great. I wanted to do that because, man, this fragrance, like, guys, I kid you not, this is like a spot on rendition of Creed's Virgin Island Water. Um, if you, you, you have it, or if you're wanting to get another bottle of it, honestly, give this a try. And I don't think you'll need that anymore because, uh, Grant, this is only 50 ml. So, I mean, you know, there's that to, to kind of think about, but, you know, price point versus, you know, what you're getting, the same thing almost. That's just, that's just kind of my opinion. I don't, I don't know if I was really honestly looking forward next year to getting a bottle of Creed Virgin Island water and maybe I might just for the collection sake, but if I'm going for scent and everything else, I'm probably just going to stick with this. Like this is really spot on. So, all right, well, I'm gonna move past that. Um, so the longevity and projection, honestly, are really good for like, um, just a, a light tropical, um, you know, fresh fragrance. Um, I get really good projection and really good longevity. Um, I did spray this on my hand. Uh, I think it was, I think it was either Sunday, it was either Sunday or Monday. So, uh, so Sunday or yesterday, uh, spray this on my hand just to kind of see what it would do. And I got really good solid projection. I'd say for like the first hour and a half, two hours, I mean, I was getting probably this high off my hand. Like I could smell it from, you know, that far away. So that's probably a good, you know, 10 inches or so, like really good solid projection and uh, longevity i actually got probably six or seven hours which is really crazy when you think about you know a real light tropical fragrance that you know sometimes they just kind of go away but i think that the kind of rum and the musk um the white musk in here really kind of helped make it a little bit more uh deep and give us some depth to, to stay around so um yeah so longevity is really great projection is really great um, and what's really cool about this one is honestly, I don't have too many of these. I have a couple, but honestly, this is to me just kind of a great casual fragrance, like nothing really special about it. It does smell great. Don't get me wrong, but it just a very easy to wear fragrance. I don't think it brings really any kind of like formal, uh, attire or formal dinner or anything like that. Like, um, I think it's just a great, um, you know, errand, just going out to run some errands, going to the mall, um, you know, um, just kind of having a night out in the town, you know, in the summertime, you know, it could be a good date fragrance. Um, you know, it doesn't really like scream a date fragrance to me, but it might be a good, like for a first date or something like that. If you don't want to, you know, wear something too challenging and just kind of one let yeah, whoever it is, uh, you're dating, know you smell good. I think this could do it for you. So um, on a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give this probably a, a nine out of 10, um, you know, on how well it's blended and everything. Um, just the fragrance as a whole, I really do enjoy it. Um, it's really well blended. Um, don't really have any synthetic notes or, uh, anything like that. No, no harsh openings. Um, yeah. So I would, I would give it a probably nine or yeah, nine out of 10, um, uh, for, for how much I really enjoy the fragrance as a whole, I'm probably gonna give like a seven and a half out of 10. Um, it's not anything wrong with it. It's just not really my cup of tea. Um, it is very good, but, um, you know, I lean more towards, uh, like the fall fragrances, the sweet honey, tobacco, caramel, stuff like that. Um, I do enjoy, you know, my fresh fragrances, don't get me wrong, but this one is just, um, it just doesn't doesn't wow me you know what i mean so we all have those ones that do and we have those ones that don't so um yeah um i would say that this is honestly a really unisex fragrance i think that it um just really rides that line almost perfectly it doesn't really lean masculine and it doesn't really lean feminine i think that if you're looking for a great unisex fragrance um guys this would be a great excuse to get this and say, oh, hey, you know, for your wife's, hey, you get, you can wear this too. We, I'm buying it for both of us. You know what I'm saying? I got your back. I got your back. Um, but, um, and what's really crazy is my wife actually really enjoys it. So, I mean, that's cool too. So, um, yeah, guys, honestly, this is just a, a really great, you know, fragrance to, to have in your collection, especially for like the summertime, a really great, easy to wear casual fragrance. So, all right, guys, well, uh, that's, that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to that channel. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, if you love it, wear it.